so it's a collective haul, so I'm just gonna get into it because I've tried to film this over and over again. I pretty much spent all of yesterday trying to film this video, but it just did not work. Um, so I'm just gonna get into it. So it's collective. I don't. <laughs> some of the things I got like weeks ago, and some of the things I got yesterday. So yeah, if you're curious about where I got anything, just let me know. Um, I did get some clothes. I don't. I don't go clothes shopping at all. I'm like totally obsessed with makeup that I don't buy clothes. Um, I'd rather look like a vagabond hobo than um, with pretty makeup. <laughs> look fashion forward and have not pretty makeup, I don't know. Um, but so I've been neglecting the clothing section um, and my closet's very outdated, but then again, I am very simple with what I wear. So anyway, I went to um, Warehouse One where I got a shirt. I got a few shirts, so it's not just one shirt. I got this shirt. This is simple gray. I got it for twelve dollars. It was originally twenty four. So yeah, and I also got this shirt. I haven't worn this shirt yet. It still has the tag on it. I've had it for like a few weeks now, um, and it was thirty four dollars, thirty four ninety nine, whatever. Um, it's a racer back, you know, tank top, and it's got like this. It's a really soft fabric, and it's got this like sequin lace fabric-esque to it so I picked that up and it's like really reflective um, then I picked up two tank tops I'm wearing one right now I'm wearing a black one um, and I'm wearing I got a pink one and they were two for 15 and the last thing I got which I have to get up and show you guys is I got a pair of PJ pants they are awesome I'm just gonna get up and show you so this is what ugh, it looked like. They're black with these feathers on it. And, oh, my knee's cracked. <laughs> but I just really like them. I'm sitting on like a milk crate. So, I'm really like low to the ground. I kind of feel like really short because I'm like way up to the counter. But anyway, so I got the shorts, or the shorts, the PJ pants for $16. And the two tanks I got yesterday, and they were two for 12, two for 15. <laughs> um, so yeah, and I'm reaching down because I have my basket of shit, of shit, of stuff down there. Sorry, I had to burp. I picked up two things from Black Bone Bucks. Um, this is from nativenorthwest.com. It's a, um, tumbler. Like a hot tumbler for like coffee or something. Um, and I got this because I get up at four o'clock in the morning for work, and I need coffee. Or I try. I was bringing tea for the longest time, but I can't drink tea hot because I'm weird. <laughs> and um, uh, making tea took up pretty much my half hour that I gave myself to try to wake up. So I've just been making coffee because for some reason making like coffee is quicker than making tea and then cooling it because it has to be cold, like ice cold for me to drink it um, or I don't like drinking it. So um, yeah and it's actually, I didn't realize this until um, I looked at the box but it's actually like the design around is, it's called the hummingbird and it's actually supposed to be like the native um like hummingbird kind of thing so i thought that was interesting and it's actually made in vancouver canada which i live outside of vancouver so that's nice and it's only six bucks so i was like i needed one and it's pretty i just thought it had a weird design i didn't know it was like a native one but it doesn't matter uh then i picked up a little this little pill container because I do get headaches and stuff so I got this so that I could put um, some Advil or something in here and I actually like how it's like separated um, I might just like because I have like in my house we have like the 200 um, the really high I don't know they, they're, they're I don't know what they're called 
I don't know, but they're like really strong ibuprofen or Advil and um, I thought I could put those there and then put like lower um, dosage or, like strength in the other two. I don't know. <laughs> ah. This I got a few weeks ago. Um, Garnier Moisture Rescue or Gel Cream was on sale for $9.99 at London Drugs. So I picked up um, one and I really like this moisturizer. It's my holy grail um, facial moisturizer for my skin tone, or skin tone, my skin type. And this is for normal to combination skin if you're wondering. But I picked up the simple soothing toner you guys know in my skin routine that I love this. I picked up a full size. It was nine bucks. So I was like, whatever. Um, this I got for free. I got a manufacturer's coupon in the mail for a free full size Garnet body intensive seven days conditioning lotion. I picked up the cocoa butter one for dry, dull skin. And I really like this moisturizer. It's really thick and really nice. That's what it looks like. And it's supposed to be fast absorbing. And it so is. Um, when I first used it, I was like, holy crap. It's fast absorbing and it's really moisturizing, which I was very surprised with. So this is something I hate about lotion is it takes so long to like rub in, but this stuff is like so easy. And it actually makes your hands feel, hands and body feel really nice and smooth. So I'm gonna like put this on my lap so I'm not like bending down for stuff. Um, I picked up a nail polish from Chatters, which is like a hair, hair, hair salon. And this is called Chatters Me Up. And I can't describe the color, so I'm just gonna try to show it to you the best I can. Um, it's really pretty, like, purple, chromey, like, holographic, not holographic, but, like, dual chrome color. Um, and it's called Chatters Me Up. It's only available at Chatters Salon locations, so you have to look up the website. I'll put the, their website down below if you want to check, see if there's one in your area. <coughs> but that's only available at Chatters stores. Um, okay, um, this stuff I got yesterday, um, uh, Maybelline is buy two, get one free, um, right now at Run and Drugs, so I picked up two Maybelline color tattoos because I wanted to try them out, and they're so hyped on YouTube, and the limited edition ones were in, so I picked up Mossy Green, because I've been obsessed with greens lately, I think it's because, um, I don't know why I never, I have green eyes, I guess I never thought green looked good, would compliment my green eyes, but it actually is really nice for my eyes. I wore that yesterday, it was really nice. And I got Barely Beige, I'm not so impressed with Barely Beige, I'm wearing it right now. And in the outer corners I have L'Oreal Shadow. Um, I don't think Barely Beige is worth the hype. Um, I do like Mossy Green, and I do so far like how they apply um but yeah that's all i can say if you always want a review on these i will do one so um i do like them i do want to pick up um ones from the permanent line so yeah then uh the colossal cat eyes mascara was out um i heard emily noel talk about this and i guess colossal or maybelline Decided to take the Colossal Volume Stress Formula or something and put a new brush in a slightly different formula. This formula is drier than the original, so if you dislike the other formula because it's too wet, this is a little bit more dry. And it has a different brush. Um, I actually don't mind the brush. I actually like it for getting right at the root of the lash. Um, and this actually holds a curl. This, I, this is not waterproof, but this holds a curl like crazy. I usually don't care or notice but this really held a curl and I was very surprised. This and so I got the two color tattoos and the Maybelline mascara was free I think and then I picked up a Maybelline color show nail polish and I picked this one up because it looked very familiar to a certain OPI color I own and yes it is very 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 close to um, just spotted lizards from OPI, meaning it's a very close dupe 
to Chanel's Peridot. This is a limited edition color as well. It's called Boho Gold. And it's really pretty. Um, so if you did not get the um, OPI one, this one is one I would recommend you guys looking for. I've only seen this collection at um, London Drugs. So, yeah. I really like it. It comes with 7 mils of product. And it's only $3.99, which I think is an okay price. I never tried the color show <clears throat> uh, nail polish before, so I'm going to try it out and see how it works. Um, I picked up the Alme Wake Me Up, or oh, don't wake me up, Wake Up Liquid Makeup, and the Alme Wake Up Under Eye Concealer. And these two were actually like strapped together, like like self, I think cellophane or plastic wrapped around each other. So, um, and these, this is like sixteen dollars. And Alme was save or get five dollars off a six or fifteen dollar or more purchase. And this is sixteen dollars, so I only paid eleven bucks for this. Plus, I got the concealer free, and the concealer is eight dollars on its own. So it's pretty much like getting one discounted and getting one free. So. I am wearing the foundation today and the under eye concealer, so if you guys want to see a review, I will do one. Uh, the packaging looks like the pump. Looks very close to the color stay, not the color stay, the photo ready. So, yeah. Then I have a few lipsticks. Um, I have this one from NYX called Cirque. I'm not going to swatch it because it'll take too much time and my battery's low. But this is an exact dupe for the Viva Glam Gaga 2. So, yeah. Then I picked up four lip butters. Um, I picked up Berry Smoothie, which is a really nice color. Peach Parfait, which is another. This is like my lip color with butter. So my lips are no. But like there's no nothing on my lips right now, so they're kind of like a peachy kind of color already. This one is pink truffle. This one looks really scary in the tube, but I'm just gonna apply it just to show you guys it's not. It's actually a really nice color. That's what it looks like. This one I actually think is actually more like my lip color than the other one, but I'm wearing right now. And it's just a really nice like neutral pink color. Then this is Lollipop, and it's a really nice, warm, hottish pink. So, yeah. Um, I got f three Essence nail polishes. I only have two here because I forgot one in my room. This one is in Off to Miami. And Space Girl, which is a glitter. Um, I also got, got Party Princess, which is like a dark berry glitter color. Um, you guys probably see that in a future video. Then I picked, I went to Shopper's Drug Mart and I picked up the Justin Bieber's Girlfriend Roller Ball. Um, I smelled it and I kind of liked it and I, I wanted a roller ball of it if it was available. And it was, I don't know, Justin Bieber's <laughs> perfumes smell very much like Britney Spears. I think this one smells like a little bit like fantasy and circus fantasy. I think it smells a little bit more like fantasy, but it smells so much like, um, like his, um, I don't know, this smells, I don't know, Justin Bieber's perfumes don't smell that different. I've smelled someday, and I've smelled this one, and they don't smell different, they smell the exact same, so, um, yeah, so, if you guys want me to do a review of Justin Bieber's girlfriend, I will. Um, I do like the roller wall, however. It's very controlled. Um, I just wish that he had written girlfriend on the roller wall. It just says Justin Bieber and then it's like his signature. And the gold hearts. So I wish that they had done a little bit better job on the actual packaging of the roller wall. Um, oh well. Then my main reason to for going to Shopper Dreamer was to pick up the Nicki Minaj Pink Friday perfume. I picked up the 50 mil and I kicked myself in the butt for because it didn't come with the necklace, which I really wanted. 
but the cat will have a necklace, but um, I'm probably going to use this up real quick because I love it. Um, I love the packaging. It is kind of morbid how you have to take the behead to keep Minaj to you get to the perfume, but I love this perfume. It smells so good. It smells so good. I think it's like my favorite perfume right now. Oh, it just smells so good and I love it. It smells amazing. I don't even need to wear perfume, but I'm just... I just like it. I didn't think I would. But it smells really, really good. So, that is the bottle. Um, if you guys want to see my look, because I did a look inspired off of the bottle. So, if you want to see that um, tutorial, I will link it right here on Nikki's head. So, if you click, click the Nicki Minaj Pink Friday perfume to see the tutorial. And... Yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed, and Nikki will take you out. Goodbye. What I gotta do to show these girls that I own them Some call me Nikki and some call me Rowman Skeezer, please, I'm in a visa. Just like he's in a